Hi guys! Welcome back ulit sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ituloy natin yung Math Challenge Playlist for our Grade 9 mga Lodi. So ito magsasolve ulit tayo ng 4 to 5 problems regarding the uh, past uh, Math Challenge uh, questions in preparation for the upcoming Math Challenge this 2020. So start tayo mga Lodi, okay? First question. What is the shortest side of triangle PQR? So we have a triangle. So we have P, Q, R. Given angle P is 57 degrees and angle Q equals 67 degrees. Anong hinahanap mga Lodi? Shortest side. So for the shortest side, paano natin malalaman yan? So hindi po siya bara-bara lang. Ang kailangan muna nating ma-determine Ano ba yung mga uh, angles natin? So, may kulang pa tayong isang angle, mga Lodi, di ba? So, kunin muna natin yung angle R. So, pag kinuha natin yung angle R, so, we just subtract 180 by the sum of 57, tsaka 67 degrees. So, saan equal yan, mga Lodi? So, Sir IJ, equal po yan sa ilan, mga idol? So, that is 56 degrees. Double check natin, 57 plus 67, that is 124 degrees. 180 minus 124, that is 56 degrees. So, applying yung triangle inequality natin, mga Lodi, kung naalala nyo pa, the opposite of the longest side is the largest angle. And the opposite of the smallest angle is the shortest side. Anong pinakamali? 56, 57, 67. Siyempre, 56 degrees. Therefore, Kung ito yung smallest angle, ang shortest side natin yung katapat ng pinakamaliit na angle. So that is, ang katapat niya ay side PQ. So don't forget to put a line like this. It designates na segment siya mga idol. Segment PQ is the long or is the shortest side of the triangle. Okay? So next problem. So for our next problem, For what value or values of x is x squared minus 8x plus 18 is greater than or equal to 0? So, unang-una kasing naiisip natin, mga idol, is if a factor out natin siya. Kaya lang, kung titingnan natin, mga Lodi, hindi siya factorable. Kasi wala namang factors na 18 na ang sum ay negative 8. ba? Maghahanap ka ng dalawang numbers na product 18, some negative 8, wala. So, ano pa ba yung isang paraan para malaman kung ano yung factors nito, mga Lodi? So, tandaan natin na kapag greater than or equal to 0, tapos hindi siya factorable, ang next step na gagawin natin, kunin natin yung discriminant. So, paano kinukuha yung discriminant, sir IJ? That is B squared minus 4AC. So, that is equal to? Ilan yung B natin? Negative 8 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 times 18. Kapag ginampute natin yan, 64 minus 72, that is negative 8. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng negative 8 na discriminant, Sir IJ? So, ang ibig sabihin ng negative na discriminant or negative 8 na discriminant is yung graph natin is entirely above the x-axis. So, meaning lagi siyang positive. So, ibig sabihin pa na yan, di ba hindi siya factorable, kinuha natin discriminant, negative na kuha natin, nasa nakalagay ay greater than or equal to zero, meaning ang sagot dyan ay all real numbers. Or kapag sinasu sinabi na right in interval notation, that is from negative infinity to positive infinity exclusive. Okay? So, ganun lang siya mga Lodi. Baka kasi mabigla kayo hindi factorable ano na yung gagawin niya. Okay? Pangatlong problem. So, balik tayo sa triangle. So, this time, right triangle. Okay? Ang problem natin, in triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degrees. So, meron daw tra in triangle. So, ABC, angle B is 90 degrees. Ito yung symbol ng angle na perpendicular or 90. So, ang sinabi, and sine A is equal to 3 over 4. Ang inahanap, mga idol, find the value of tangent C. So, ganito lang yan. 
Makinig mga Lodi ha. Assign A is 3 fourths. So naalala nyo yung so katowa? Mga Lodi. So katowa. So that is ibig sabihin ng sign that is opposite over hypotenuse. Sign A 3 fourths. Anong opposite ng A? Side BC. Therefore, i-assign mo siya as 3. So, so H hypotenuse. Ito yan, di ba yung 4? So kunin mo to. Ito yung magiging 4 natin mga Lodi. Ano yung nahanap? Find tangency. So gagamitin lang natin dyan towa, pero wala pa yung AB. ba? So paano natin kukunin yan Sir IJ? So kunin mo yan using Pythagorean theorem. So we will have AB squared uh, plus 3 squared that is equal to 4 squared. 16 minus 9 that's 7. Therefore AB equals square root of 7. So lagay mo yan square root of 7. Anong inahanap? Ang C, so opposite ng C, square root of 7, over the adjacent. Ano adjacent ng angle C? That is 3. Therefore, ito na yung value ng ang C. So, madali lang siya. Pythagorean theorem lang yung kailangan natin dyan. Then, once na malocate mo na or ma-identify mo na yung parts, you are good to go na to determine yung tri uh, trigonometric function. Okay? So, isang problem pa mga lodi. Okay, so last problem. Simplify in terms of sine and cosine only. So that is cotangent theta multiplied by second squared theta. So ang sabi dun sa problem mga Lodi, in terms of sine and cosine lang. So gawin mo lang siyang, ano yung cotangent? So that is cosine theta over sine theta multiplied by, ano yung second squared mga idol? So, that is 1 over cosine squared po, Sir IJ. So, that is equal to cancel ng isa. Therefore, the final answer is 1 over sine theta, cosine theta. Okay? So, mga Lodi, so just in case may questions or concerns, huwag kayo mahiya mga Lodi. Magtanong sa comment section. So, may mga kasunod bang part yan. So, more much tutorials to come. And I hope na every day, Mas maraming pa tayo natutunan dito sa channel ko. So thank you so much for listening and have a great day. Bye!